The instructions for step number nine reads as follows, okay? It says that uh, using absolute cell references as necessary so that you can copy the formula in cell G4, construct a formula to calculate the percent of total sales for the first region. Copy the formula down for the remaining regions, okay? Uh, the key thing to take away from this is that you need to use what? Absolute, uh, absolute <laughs> cell references. Okay, let's go back to our working document. So here, uh, when they say use absolute uh, cell references, they mean that there has to be one value that is kept as a constant throughout your calculations, okay? So in this case, when we are computing percentages, we are going to use this total for all these figures, okay? For all these figures here. So that is why you have to use absolute cell references. If you don't do that, as you copy your equation, it will move a value of the totals like to these cells here. It will reference these cells, okay? So let me show you. Equals to, and then you click on this one. This is the value for the north, the total for the north. Then you press divide and then you press the total. Okay. So this is a, an example where you're not using the absolute cell referencing. Okay. Then press enter. If you press enter, let's say we are trying to copy this uh, uh, formula down. Okay. You'll see it says that uh, you divide, you're dividing by zero. The reason is that when you move the equation or when you copy the equation it moves the reference point for the totals to these rows here let me show you uh see it highlighted the second one okay and for this one it should uh, highlight this one and for this one it should highlight this one so absolute uh, cell references means that you are you are keeping this one as a constant even when you are moving or when you are copying your equation okay so let's use that. How do you go about to do that? Uh, just uh, double click on this one uh, so that you get these uh, two options here. So go to the front of your F, then type your dollar sign, okay? Uh, then after the F, uh, type the dollar sign again. Yeah, so basically you're telling, you telling uh, Excel that no, you should not uh, move this one okay when you you should not change the cell reference to this one when you are scrolling down okay then press enter in this case so let's let's copy the equation or the formula again uh, you see now if you click here this one is referencing the total is this one it's using this total here if you click on this one you see it's also using this total here so that is what it means to use absolute cell references okay so yeah we basically done with this let's read uh, if we are done with step number nine